Now this offense, they look in mid-season form. And what we're seeing is the benefits of all their dedication in the offseason. OTAs, mini camps, preseason, you name it, they did it. All that work and preparation, we're seeing them play really well right now. They're making it all pay off. Now Moody for the PAT. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Olszewski going to hold on to this one. Touchback. And the Steelers set to take the field. A last series form, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And the pressure gets there. He'll go down. It's a sack. And it is going to bring us to the two-minute warning. Pick it a look to throw it here. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. On third down, here's Harris. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. And in an afternoon where just about everything's gone right, there's an unlikely sight there. He's got a receiver all alone downfield, and he just overshoots him. On second down, McCaffrey. Twisting away, and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 56 yards rushing for him in this first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Man, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half, a second one not to be. I like where their head space is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Now it appears we have a stealer here slow to get up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Christian McCaffrey. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the 49ers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. 